the trout, the trout, the trout in the tower. The wolf dropped the fish and they all ran away. The trout he fought all without a The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> you? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lordship. After you take your rightful place on the Iron Throne. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. And round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honour. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege, Lord, some wine. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Let your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The, the King, 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 King in the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward! To Castle Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Winter is coming! Aye! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this... Men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, and what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were born to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. 
Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire, fetch us more wine. Can you give me a hand? Come on. Make it up to you. Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. It's not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. <laughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? Just don't need a fucking run. Run! to get back to camp. Ugh! <sighs> 
good fucking riddance. Garrett, did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. Did you see him or not? The phrase. They... they slaughtered him, my lord. Find a weapon. Quickly! Go, my lord, while there's still time. Seven hells. Well, now what do we do? If we run, they'll hunt us down like dogs. If we stay, they'll slaughter us like the others. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'd be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Well, you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. You can, and you will. My lord, by I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The future of the house may depend on it. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters! Go. On your honor, you must do this for your house! Go! Kill those <clears throat> fucking foresters! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> With love from Lord Afray. Lord. Fresh. That's father's car. <laughs> Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. 
Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself? Probably a deserter. You didn't just find it, which means you must have stolen it. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> No. I'll have that sword, boy. Aye. You'll have it. All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. You really are a p Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. No, please! Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. <laughs> Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two Whitehill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance, 
No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. But the Whitehills won't see it that way. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the Whitehills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Mira, still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengrin. Look, I'll show you. This might help. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. 
just as they've done before. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Only time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed, if you can remember? He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forrester's sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. They demand a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Against aggression. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within a week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this, but... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. 
I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which often isn't what's easiest, but necessary nonetheless. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Lady Forrester asked, but I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Wait! Be safe. Find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. 
It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you. But I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. But I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... Like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then... Well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha... Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a Lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise I won't change. Good. Because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. 
He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord! You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own, that the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Your sister can help us.
Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Ethan made this for me. Asher sent me this coin, to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Wonders Made by Man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, milady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking. You seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, not from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Most people don't tend to notice a cowboy, Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady.
Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. You can do this. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, your grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did say their loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Yes, Your Grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey, 
If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. If you are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. I serve at her pleasure. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. But it certainly wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I did it for Lady Marjorie. As you should. And of course she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard, not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. 
Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah! <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... Rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her.
Go on. Ask. Please, Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath to see my brother bend the knee. Ramsay? Roos Bolton's bastard? I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown... That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady! King Joffrey won't like it! Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. Please, Lady Marjorie, I beg of you. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. My ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Hell. Lord 
Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. You can send him to the Leave war. The man alone. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from us. Make him pay for what he stole. Give us justice. Uh, fuck I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No! Oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! <clears throat> That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom 
and experience. But, Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Swords up! Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. 
You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know, and that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please, tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Sword up, swing left, parry, wrong, I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Worthless and weak. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Sir Roiland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. 
Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Although Sir Ryland may object, I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? You will lead us into ruin! I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down. At once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? 
how he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you alright, my lady? The King was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the King's help. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. 
I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? He should be here. Now fuck him if he's angry. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you. Warden no, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. 
They murdered our men. It was a forest esquire who did it. One White Hill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a White Hill. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The Seven Hells he will. Lads, do make this visit. Worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well... <laughs> Hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! 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 What have you done? But no! I don't want a bold lord. No! Far too much trouble. Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan. Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please. Stop! Don't let him take me! You will not take Stop him! Stop no, please! Please! Ryan, please. No. 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 Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son.
Whoa, it, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. There'll be... Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Fragrant. This place could use a good cleaning. I complained Looks to the owner. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Except he's probably dead. Ale. It goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... Something or other. Don't care, really, so long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. It's not that simple. In the North, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the North. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. Beske? I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again- Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. 
The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. <laughs> Bloody hell! And we're done with you too. La da diri, Zombazi. Do ebi me. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte os en as! Pojos me nomi jahoso kisikas! Who dies first? Who wants to dance on the end of my sword? Kill them! Now! No one's more like it. Here's one. Come on! She couldn't pass me! You owe me one. For Volantis! Peska! <laughs> Fuck you, Ashe! Fazal! Cost in the gittis! Brains! Illibonius! Know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. Gods of fire and fuck. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. That ended well. More on their way. We need to go. Come on. Malcolm. Damn them. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home.
foresters. Turtle is so fucking far away. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. <laughs> All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again? <laughs> what have you got this time? Some poor peasant Sir dressed Ryland. like a lord. I, uh, a stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Dustin Day. <laughs> And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. The Forrester? Leave. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump him in the river then. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh, that was a sheep fucker. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. Seven hours. <laughs> what is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. 
I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. You need to let me worry about that. We're all worried. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Patrick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. <laughs> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruits at the gate! You're 
rival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Hmm, because you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. <laughs> I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A wogling girl, maybe. Garrod Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrod Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes. Sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread! <sighs> There's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die... The Whitehill soldiers always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> he's had a, a run-in with Walder Frey, did And he's you? leaning on a girl. I should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a Real cursed. shame about your leg, my oh, Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. What a disc... We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. 
Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. It's madness. You can't starve them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the White Hill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord White Hill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Surrounded. stole. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. It's because you have no wits. I will have order. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves. When we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Do whatever it takes. Ryan will not remain hostage at High Point. Perhaps it's time to talk about the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, uh, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Just hand away. Perhaps a few meals are in order, but no wine! It's a start, at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss... 
Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard, oh, 
The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend the realm from wildlings, white walkers... At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? The Nightfall, Deep Lake, Queensgate, Castle Black, Oakenshield. Got caught stealing a bag of them. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was on. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. You've had a sorbet. You, grab a practice sword. That was embarrassing to watch. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Huh? 
Come on, keep at it. Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're like. Ah! Ah, my fucking foot! <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets, I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. <clears throat> Want some help? <laughs> yourself, Tuttle. No. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Chance, 
You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! But stop it! Before some. I won't say it again. Fuck! Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. Ah. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. 
I to always have to hide. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine, with what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink, from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it, since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you. She won't even share with me, though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. You'll steal wine from the Queen Regent, but you won't risk an alliance with me. You need to know what risks are worth taking. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a Forrester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. 
You're going to dismiss You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. You have no shortage of confidence. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Whatever it is, I'll do it. I just asked you for an open favor, and you agreed as if I were inviting you to tea. You're either very brave or very foolish. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us, then? If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts, And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. 
We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Yonkai Hanoncho si bota con costoti da orra! Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Yes, we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt. Most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here.
Roderick? You look... You're really... Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said... some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No. He just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand by you, Roderick. But I have to be practical. Elena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, it... the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. 
Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Heronhall. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lord, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? So, here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsay that. Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said... You fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. 
Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honourable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the Night's Watch. There were those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? Because it's real. I know it. I suppose I thought giants were just a story. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I'm here, but where are you?
Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night? I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. tried to kill me. Why would he do that? What are you doing here? I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? It's you. Isn't it? Roderick. They said you were gone. Ramsay Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't. Because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. 
He hurt Ethan. I'm gonna kill Ramsay Snow for what he did. That's enough. Your little chat is over. Step back. We had a deal. Ryan gets to attend the funeral. And you will keep your distance, or he's going back to High Point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? Of course not. I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. That must have been hard for him. Losing them. And yet it does not come close to losing Ethan. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You must protect them. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Father, he, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honourable. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband. My love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice.
palm highs from eyes with foosters born to eyes we all return father brother i've sworn i've sworn to guard this rest you've earned i'd She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you... You have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> I'm dying, though. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. Right. We need to get moving. Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. They're still raw about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing it. Not that I care about Tazal. Let me remind you, it was him who tried to kill us. I just returned the favor. Oh, don't doubt it. You always did have a gift for that sort of thing. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Thank you, Malcolm. That's valuable advice. Of course. 
If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground? There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. He's not gonna need that. Asher, the Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is Essos. There's always time for gold. Oh, shit. It's them. Ponte Fredo! Que Sirizzi! Shit! Come on! Go, go! They're behind us! Damn it! Russia! Find us another way out of here! Got it! What in seven hells is that smell? I can't even guess what this used to be. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through! We'll hold the boss! We've got a bigger problem. Ponte Ocenas! Ponte Sir Ocenas! Wars with worse than this. Hurry, the beast is coming around. <laughs> Asha! Grab my hand! Hurry, Asha! It's nearly on you!
Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrid. <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cutter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, no guarantees on potatoes or lamprey pie. Or for that matter. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrid. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrid? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <sighs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. Finn, stop being such a bloody fool. When a man takes my gear, it'll be my fist that'll rip their heart from their gullets. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Eric to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. <laughs> I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now... I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Then don't worry. You were born to kill wildlings. That jab you gave me the other day, it fucking hurt. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend.
You handled that well, Garrod. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. It shall not end it shall until, not my end until my death. Until my death. I, shall take no I shall wife, take no wife, hold no lands, hold no lands father, no father no children. No children. I, shall wear no crowns, I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. Win no glory. I shall live and die I at my post. At my post. I am the sword I in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrod. We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrod, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice sort. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. A business with a Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields, to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing, if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Please tell me there's a plan. But we can't let them get away with this. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. 
describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes, almost an obsession, a vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much, and you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy, but you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why, I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. I used to be frightened of wayward trees. Well, before I was a man grown. I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Wood's mouth. Uncle, whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. I don't know. They're probably like little little shards or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. <laughs> Mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall... It... Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He's Castellan to House Forester. They sell ironwood to the builders. So you were just talking about lumber all that time? It looked like he gave you something. It was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. 
Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice her for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? I oh, know I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you alright? I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones, by the fountain. But they can't know it's his. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. Someone paid him to kill me. They're still out there. They might try again. Oh, God. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just keep your eyes open. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who wants you dead. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. 
I assume you have no problems with the reins of Castamir? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me... Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She chose you, yet now she puts the king first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? It was just a cup of wine. Nothing more. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey? 
Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth bone. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in. That's clearly what he wants. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for.
We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Knowing the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. The White Hills know that harming Ryan, killing Ryan, would mean war. There is no turning back from that. We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted, but best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the Crown Lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie. Good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the Queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira, please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... 
I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Karen! Easy now. Sorry. I was just... keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people passed through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him. But you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one's for the Boltons. There'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. Be practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I threw with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Talk all you like. You'll be dead before you take the black. Careful now. Didn't end so well for you last time. That's enough. Both of you. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen, but what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. I can handle this. She's only thinking about it, right? There's still time. Look. You once promised to help me with Marjorie, when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. Serving a pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? 
Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. You've made a mistake. No. Uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with her. Are you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest ironwood from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need, more than anything, is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of Ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lud Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! What happened? Joffrey's oh, no, no, no. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand, Lady Mira. I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. It's locked. <gasps> Not getting in this way. Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? I 
have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I work for Lady Marjorie. Queen Marjorie. She asked me to wait here. Somehow I find that hard to believe. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. I almost lost my footing. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. Mira, we're running out of time. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. Mira, I think the Lannister guard is back. No, no, it's the other one. Damn it, hide! I'll find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. Help! Fire! What the hell? Damn it! Come on! You did it. How? I lit a tapestry on fire down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! I catch the bastard who... I'll wring their bloody neck! We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees! It's the Whitehills. You see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. It's all gone. There's nothing but stumps. The White Hills need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. I think she can help us. And caution's a virtue we can't afford. 
Just be wary, my lord. You see what our family's done here. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Keep it. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Forgive me, I... I wasn't sure what I'd find out here. Hello, Gwyn. It's... It's been so long since we've met, Roderick. It has. It was before your father found out about you and Asher. Before he stormed Ironrath. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Soon, there will be nothing left to save. I hope you come with help, Gwyn. And I hope you'll listen to me. I come as a friend. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. I'm glad you came tonight. It's good to see you. And you too, Roderick. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... Part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me to bring an end to this war? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. Just like you kissed my father's ring. You must show the same respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes, if that's what I have to do. It is. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. What the hell is your father planning? I swear I don't know, but whatever it is... He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to force Griff from your home. Even if it endangers Ryan's life. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. Lord? 
Come along, Duncan. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. Mother, I... I went to see Gwyn Whitehill. You did what? You would meet with the girl who once tore this house apart. Oh, I, I see now why you went in secret. Surely you must have known I would have counseled against it. We need friends, Mother. We're not in a position to worry where help comes from. That is exactly why we need to worry. Well, what did she have to say? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? Gwyn Whitehill told me I must, if I want to keep the peace. I don't know how you can trust that. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No, this can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard, but I never thought this would happen. Not in our house. I have to say, Mess, that our Timgrin worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Duncan? Duncan? He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. Then again, I don't know why we should believe anything that girl told you. The White Hills would love to sow dissent in our house with lies of traitors. Get in <laughs> what do you want from me? No, no, he was over there. And Ramsay was I'll here. Play our wants. You will bend the knee to your liege lord. I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you, lord. Shut your mouths and stop this at once. Oh, look here. It's the new lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house, right now. <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. Oh, I know you've seen it before, but um, it gets better every time. Show some respect in my house, in my home. And that's what we're doing. Remembering young Ethan as he was. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. Oh, no, Ethan! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real eater. Oh, yeah. oh, better than the real eater. And what about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty my blade with your blood. You should have seen it. Your brother, he acted like a true lord. Before this is over, your blood will join my brothers on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Make his right, mother watch. No fucking now we'll really have some fun. Enough. Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick. Roderick. Now is not the time. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrett. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. And no more talk of the North Grove, either. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises any. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, it's something you should know then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, I didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. Well, I did try. And you, you just said your uncle was here about Ironwood. But I think it was something else. I noticed this part here. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumour. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it to Witch's Den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumour. Lord Forrester found the truth, it's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. 
And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? Finn doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumours is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? What do you mean, Cotter? How do you know any of that? Oh, you know, just what I hear around Castle Black. People talk. <laughs> Not about the North Grove, they don't. Well, you do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it was nothing. Cotter! I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know, it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local, and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. You're quiet. I hope that means you'll keep this quiet. Are we... We still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shithouse you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home, no matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me? The North Grove has nothing to do with you. I've got my own reasons for going. Cut her! Now! I'm on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The Watch would kill me if they found out. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You all right? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say, death by sword was a sweet kiss. But fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher... I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. You must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. I've been fighting side by side with Beska for four years. She has saved my life more times than I care to admit. I owe her. Thank you for being honest. But she's not family. <sighs> Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. 
but I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, that's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a Stop price this. to be Let paid. him go! You fucking bastard. Take my eye, then. I don't need two to kill you. Done. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden. The Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We? You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lines of gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on post for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. You two back in my life. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin.
Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Not like he's holding something back. Can't put my finger on him. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. That's Ironwood for sure. Oh, a man could freeze to death up here. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. It'll be here soon. Wonder who's riding it. must hold up the lift. Probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. Pig farmer. A 300 mile walk. And you're still in my way. I figured we'd settled things on the way to Craster's. This is even better. The wall's a dangerous place. People slip off all the time. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Shrieking the whole time. Her crying out. Garrett, you fucking shit! <laughs> temper, temper. 
Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally, you're going to die for what you did! Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. Let's see if you scream like you You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Fuck you. You never gave my father any mercy. Fucking finish it. Go on. In this. Don't piss yourself on the way down. These people are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood forests. Out of the way! And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the north if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again, and this won't get better on its own. These are hard times, to be sure. Harder than I've ever seen. But I'll do whatever it takes to get us through it. We'd better hope we figure something out. With those white hill bastards in our house, we must be wary. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. Uh, You're here. Uh, Look. Look at this! Uh, did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's going to get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. Fine. You brought her to me. I'll deal with her. That's not for you to decide. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench. I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. We've done enough for you. You can't push us any further. I can push you as much as I like. And if your people don't see that, they need to learn their place. This girl is out of control. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in... Yeah, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again. 
and learned proper discipline. You can shout and preen all you like, but it's just for show. You do as your father Lord wishes. And even he knows that punishing girls was never part of the deal with Ramsay Snow. And how would you know? Eh? It was poor little Ethan who dealt with the Boltons. Oh, this house is rotten. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to make threats against my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. A girl who should know her station. <laughs> That's how I like to see you, foresters. Face down in the muck. Talia, here. Thank you. You don't get it, do you? You foresters need to learn when you're beaten. <sighs> you will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honour? I'll run you through for that. I'll cut you down like straw men. I'm fine, Royland. I'm fine. I'll handle this. Even broken, he's twice the man you are. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! I will not yield. You bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester. You learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Will it be you? Or will it be... Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! Oh, my lord. What? Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf? You! You'll never keep the foresters down! Hold there! Or you're next! Please, Lord Griff, not the arm! If you persist, Lord Roderick may lose it! Now... Stay down. Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? My lord, please, just stay do it. Down. Stay down. Don't be a fool. He's had enough. I. I decide when he's had enough. Oh, oh you, you can't. I command you. Let him alone. I'll do as I like. You. You should fear me. I'm in charge here! Have you had enough, Griff? Are we done here? Don't think this is over, Roderick! You'll see! I will make you suffer for this! Trust in that! My boy. Careful, he's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave, but there will be consequences, my son. 
We both know that. You see that? Standing up to Griff has made him harsh. Bloody More bullets. severe. Form up. He could have killed you. But what you did, the strength you showed us, you looked like yourself again. It was good to see. I couldn't just stand by and let Griff punish you. Damn the consequences. And I'd do it again. A thousand times. I know you would. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. He promised he wouldn't, and look what happened. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. I'll do it. That's good. I'm sure a time will come when our house will call upon you to do what's necessary. But well, that time is not now. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. What you did, provoking Griff, it hasn't taken our house to war just yet. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, the foresters will stand tall. I did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? I can't. What? After everything, we just... I can't burn it. The Khaleesi will see you now. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, choose your words carefully. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... And you threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now... You've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. 
You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. Finn's just being a good brother. I think. Can't watch a man die unjustly. I decide what justice is. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Crossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod, you told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrod. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron, it's all right. He's, uh... He's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, Asha. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. I have this. Drogon, how did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself, 
So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? With your permission, I want to hire a contingent of the Second Sons. I need them to help me fight for my family back in Westeros. The Second Sons? Has your reason failed you? Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's uh, it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asha? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asha, please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? What's the problem with you and Marine, anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beska. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. <laughs> Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, 
Do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you'd prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. No. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told... You're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. You can't marry into House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. The Whitehills still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. 
Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quill. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joff. <laughs> For all I of one she'll hour. Marry his brother too. Not to but mention Cersei and Jamie. Oh, the Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Over honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Sand. Probably covered with fleas. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. might be useful. No one out there. Oh, 
Well, this one looks loose. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him, or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. But I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. See it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think. You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Three's better than two. Admit it. You're not coming with us, Finn. I'm asking Garrett. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move.
There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. dog to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. Excuse me? Let the maester go, Griff. Not until he's learned his lesson. He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the price. Oh, my hand! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're a piece of shit, Griff. You know that. Oh, you got quite the mouth on you, Roderick. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. What the hell is this? What are your orders? 
I'm the only one here who gives the orders. What are you waiting for? Help the maester. What are you doing? Back away. Now. This is my hall. You have no right to be here. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me. My father will go straight to Roost Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family. Shut your bloody mouth, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone... <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This crip... Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? <laughs> You need to stop. Oh, 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 my eye! Roderick, listen to you me! Fucking! My eye! I can't see! I can't. I can't fucking see. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the ravens. All of them. I swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of shit-brained fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking about? I will not let about? you bark orders at me! Hey, 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 calm down! Calm down! What's going on here? I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Beska, anyway! what the hell is going on? Pfft, you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. You can't let him get to you. You're better than that. It's not just him. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? Come on! Is this what you want? Get off me. I can't. I can't talk about it. Whatever your problem is with Marine, you have to get over it. Get over it? I was a slave. Here. In this fucking city.
I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. Lance, what kind of a monster would do that to a child? To him, we were not children. We were his playthings. His... Entertainment. There was this boy... We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realised it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. I'm... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I need to speak with Lords Morgren and Andros. One of them might be working against my family. Doing what? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Please, Sarah. I don't know. For me. Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget 
Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwin! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop it. laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I'm sorry, I... I I'm, I'm rather thirsty. Oh, allow me. No, I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. I broke into Tyrion's study and stole it. Risky. But it worked, clearly. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. How quickly people forget where they started. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. <laughs> and a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine.
Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. So what's it like, working with Lyman Lannister? Who told you? You think you're smart, don't you? That you've figured everything out. You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? It seems you already know about my friend Lyman. But have you thought about what that means? It means you stay out of my way, or you'll end up in the black cells with the imp. Good day, Lady Mira. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <sighs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well, I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, 
but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well, now you know, too. Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. What did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. You know where you're going. Cotter?
Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? Well, this won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to stop soon, look for some food. We're on the right track. This way. Free folk. Oh, things. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Thing? No, I'm uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen, I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. Please! You should have stayed behind your wall where you belong. He's not alone. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. Leave them be, all right? Just, just take me. I think I'll take all of you. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. <whistles> Carrot. Kill them! Yeah, it's over. Just don't do it. Garrett, let her go. Are those the last of our supplies? Can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead.
I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord, and I'm... It's hard to know what's right. You never really know for sure. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. We'll need the Glenmores at High Point. They'll accompany us. Yes, my lord. Let Arthur Glenmore know at once. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you best take Duncan. You're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. Duncan comes with us. Ryman can stay here and defend Ironra. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point. But I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please. I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. Talia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy.
Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake, and the man you remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in, do what that you woman have to do, Elise? and get your people Didn't she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to worry about us. Just point us at the people you want dead. We'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Avoids the main street. Let's just get this over with. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Can you see anyone? Cover me. Someone's up there. Then we'd better move. What are they doing? Hey, Pesca! Pesca! Yawa Misha, my Esli wash. Shall she? Shall she do wash? Skoda junta swa. Yelwa Misha, my Esli wash. Shall she do wash? Shall 
Spalsa Huashka. <laughs> Amazingly was. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Eska, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this! Just tell me! Do you trust me? I need to know. Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Eska! Where are you going? Follow her! Was Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! No! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! He was my master. Dezo Zoraza. The man who forced me to... I'm going to kill you! That is a mercy compared to what you deserve. After what you did to me, to those other children. Nobody can blame you for wanting him dead. Do what you must. I will. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away! My... My best guy. I am not. Let him go. Oh, what are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Asha, stop her. I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Go ahead, Beska. <laughs> no! <laughs> what have you done? Let's go. Over there. So when were you going to tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Ah. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? 
Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Want to kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that...? Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive. Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You brought crows here. You're planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... <laughs> this... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. The Glenmores have sided with us. I want him to know it. I need you to cooperate today, Roderick. Why would I do that? I heard what happened with Griff. You did? How you refused to submit to him. You're too strong-headed, Roderick. My father's convinced you mean to rebel. So if you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, 
and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful. Gullible and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Form up! Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. I'll look around. See what we're up against. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. We came here for Ryan, and I mean to get him back. I know you do. I hope it doesn't come at too great a cost. Why all this, if they mean to betray us? Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. Even so, I won't be letting my guard down. Oh, 
Roderick. Welcome to High Point. Lord. You're not nervous, are you? You kept us waiting, Lord. What can I say? I lost track of time. And besides, you had these Glenmore soldiers to keep you company. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Well? Father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. Hasn't aged well, though, has it? Stone crumbles, but at least it doesn't burn. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? No. To justice. To justice, then. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet... You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. We help you, you don't kill us. Is that it? Roderick, this could save your house. She's right. I'm throwing you a rope. And asking us to tie it around our necks. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer you opportunity. And you call it extortion. Need I remind you? You kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms... Or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. They begin slaughtering your small folk. Maybe you'll even make you watch. Griff won't be doing a damn thing. What do you mean? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <gasps> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy. Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! Uh, no! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine? Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't do I swear this. by the gods if you were... Let him go, or I'll have Griff This is killed. not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! 
Just say the word. Kill me, and we all die. Let me go, please. I'll kill you myself. Roderick, do something. Go on, then. Do it. What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. A white hill is still a white hill. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lud. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> Iron from ice! There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them? Aye. So we do this quietly? Unless you want 50 crossbow bolts in your chest. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. Focus. We have to move. This mission won't wait for us. You're right. Sorry. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. <laughs> Mother of dragons. She won't... <laughs> 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 We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So? Which will it be? You want to be the leader, you decide. I'll go over the top. You just make sure to clear the way.
to take care of him first. I think he got the easy job. What happened? Not important. Keep moving. Quick. The guards on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go. Too much. What? It's too much. You'll ruin it. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you do. <laughs> little rat. Did you say something? Well? I said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it that way. <laughs> when you're so afraid. Then it won't break. You have to first see how you like it. All clear down there? Hey, you lit. They're still up there. On the right. Take them out, and you'll be clear to secure the beacon. They break through. I'll keep them busy. We can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Well, hello. I'm the lookout! Light it! Light it! Go! Stop him! Cut the fuse!
The torch! Ah, he's going to light the beacon! Beska! All out! Oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Hear that? <sighs> it's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. Restoring our family is just the beginning. Next we'll rebuild, make ourselves strong again. Oh, Roderick, sometimes you sound just like your father. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. I Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. State your business, now. I thought you'd have more courtesy. Especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? A flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. 
Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff was injured. The maester is looking after him. I'm aware of Griff's injuries, and that you inflicted them. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Release me. Ah. Leave here. here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay! Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. No! Stop! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsay. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. <sighs> the poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. 
Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. I'm impressed. <laughs> Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you, but now I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shitstain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forrester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <sighs> Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. So sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. I can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... No. No. Oh, no. No! Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this, he's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. 
if we hadn't been your allies. Lena. I'm sorry. Get you someplace, Bob. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Thank you for your help. They'll be very grateful. I'd better go before she sees me. She already You're a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we?
Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asha Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. Eska, I'm... Don't fucking say it! It seemed like the best defense we had. The scum had it coming. Now he's dead, and we still need soldiers. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South, to join Mance, and the rest of the Free Folk. But, look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go South. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me, then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings, uh, free folk, uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. 
and look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I'll make it do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. You'll do nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. May not be as good as the feast you're used to at the wall, but we won't starve, that's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Garrett! Fuck! Huh? Look out! <laughs> this looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? P. 
pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out, day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Beska. I know how to talk to killers. Understand these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Asher. One last thing, they're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. What are you leading me into, Beska? No, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. Well, if it isn't Beska! The fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. <laughs> I like this one! Hey, Amaya! Company! Is that a pit? Eh, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits. Where things could get really nasty. Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. <laughs> Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. Enough! I didn't come to hear you bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? Mm. 
<laughs> My patience wears thin. Sail with me to Westeros, and do to my enemies what you do best! Slay them all, and lay waste to their lands! You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pit had been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes! We are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Eh, I thought worse. And what do they call that, that scary one with the two axes and the skull tattoo back in lease? What, was it pestilence, plague? The Scourge. Right, the Scourge. Anyway, he's dead. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This cockless Westerose, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! This is gonna hurt! Yours will be a beautiful death! 
Isn't that something you'd like to say? <laughs> Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting. I think I can, actually. <laughs> For that, you die slow. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Fight, boy! He fears his end! is gone, as are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors, warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fighting under someone else's rules. I won't hold you back. Fight with me, and there are no rules. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Things. Oh, God. Get over here! Over here! They won't die. Anything can be killed. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh. Fucking hell! Where's Finn? He was over there! Finn! They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! But we need to stick together! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie, yet now you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It hasn't been easy, Your Grace, but I've done what I've needed to do. Haven't we all? I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you, yet Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy, or at least it shouldn't have been. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Only when I must, Your Grace. I think we both know it's more often than that. Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. 
In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Vesco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. How about fire and blood, Uncle? Isn't that what the Targaryens say? Casting off! Taste. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I brought you a gift. Wine. You know the way to my heart. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Cersei. <clears throat> I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine.
This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Hmm. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I'm the one using her. <laughs> if that's what you think, then you're more foolish than I thought. She's taking care of a problem for me. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie will understand. Cersei left me no choice. Let's hope she understands. Because absent her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh... I... I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... I'm just making this worse, aren't I? It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's... it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To 
the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Dahlia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, make him pay. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Get the guards. Oh, oh. my lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. But it's done now. You betrayed us, Duncan. After everything my family's done for you. What I did, I did for your own good. For House Forrester. For your father's legacy. We trusted you, Duncan. My father took you off a pig farm to make you his castellan. I've cared for his family like it's my own. Then why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Losing your betrothal to Elena. It doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Flagrantly defying Griff and leaving Ortengrin to pay the price. Taking the Glenmores to High Point and leaving the front door open to the Boltons. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done. I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. And the North Grove, did you tell them about that too? No, they've never even heard the name. I've kept the secrets that mattered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. You're a traitor, Duncan! Nothing you say will change that. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone! Someone helped him escape. 
Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you. Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me, and I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. <gasps> what do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Please, Roderick. It was the right thing. What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Smell that. We're almost there, Veska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Doesn't matter if Roderick's lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Oh, you may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Huh. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher, thank the gods you've made it back. You've looked better. We've no time for small talk, brother. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. What? Open! Get the fire! For help, my pill! Asha, no! <laughs> Destroy them! It's been a while since I killed any White Hills. <laughs> Father! Asha! 
You have to get out of there. Looks like it's up to us. Ah! Asha! Ah! Raise the gate. Ah! They've got us outnumbered. Oh, shit. Ah! We have to get out of here. Ah! Ah! The gate will fall without one of us holding it. One of us has to stay. Asha! Come on! Don't you dare leave me, Asha! I came all this way for you! You can't fucking die now! My lord! You, you must hurry! We cannot lose you! You must lead! Let me save your life, and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off! But my lord, you Asher can't! Asher is your new lord. Yes, my lord. Roderick! Go! Take as many of them as you can with you! The North Grove, beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon? The Forester Sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. Hear the werewoods whisper. I haven't seen any werewoods this far north. That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. You just have to trust me. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? Which is nowhere anyone in their right mind would be. We're close. I know it. I believe you, Garrett. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. <gasps> His wound is getting worse. Oh, it burns. It burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. Oh. Listen, Garrett. 
I know him not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. Sylvie would never stand for it. She'd never leave you behind. Which is why it'll have to be you, Garrett. I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud. But she's a good person. You know you can count on me. Thank you, Garrett. I know she can hold her own. But she's still my little sister. What are you doing? I found Nightshade. It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. We're lucky to have found it. We can use the nightshade to make Cotton more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm too, in the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. <clears throat> can you help? See this? Claw marks? Whatever made this must be enormous. Gods. Frozen. Must be a fresh kill. It's been torn apart. the North Grove. Oh, finally. Look at this place. Wow. I can hardly believe it's real. Oh, fuck. Whoever they are, they can help us. Hurry!
Arrête Run Head for the village Help us Do something Ivies. But you... Please, Lady Marjorie. Please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. My lady, is there something I can help you with? I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? Where's my key? I haven't seen it in weeks, and now my seal is locked in the armoire. Any ideas, Mira? Do you think our thief took that too? Oh, my lady, please. I, I would never steal from you. I've yet to meet the thief who'd admit they would. It must be here somewhere. Perhaps it fell. Now see, here it is. It was just under the armoire. Strange. I looked all over for it. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not right to accuse without proof. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. I'm begging you to tell her the truth! My lady, I... I'm sorry. Sarah's telling the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. 
I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel... betrayed. I won't have it. Oh, forgive me, Lady Marjorie. Oh, I promise you it won't happen again. You're right, it won't. I can no longer have you near me, Mira. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But... but... but my lady... I said get out. Mira, wait! I'm so sorry. She was so angry. I, I didn't know what else to do. You saved me from being sent home. I can't believe you did that for me. I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. But you stood up for me. Maybe I shouldn't have. It's cost me a lot. But what's done is done. Well, thank you anyway. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose this is goodbye. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure we'll see each other again. Tarwick is a lovely man. Good luck with your wedding. Thanks, Mira. I'll send you an invitation. There's something I need to tell you. Something I heard. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Mira, you're on your own now. They're nearly on us, half a league or less. Seems you were right. I know that Snotnose bastard Griff. He was sent to kill me, not Roderick. He wouldn't run home to his father without trying again. Listen close! I want the road surrounded. Ride hard for Ironrath, and don't turn back. If this goes to hell, they'll need to know about Roderick. Yeah! Lay low and be ready to strike the moment I give the order. And what order is that, Asher? Take no prisoners! Seven hells! Take them! Kill the Quartersters! No grip. Oh, he's a bloody coward. Mm. Yeah, your brother was the coward. You should have seen him squeal. Oh, when Griff gutted him like a pig. <laughs> My lord.
We're going to kill them all for this. Roderick. I wish I had known him, Asher. I'll never get to drink with him, fight by his side. Complain about what an ass his little brother is. I wish there was something more I could say. Roderick was everything that I'm not. He was shrewd where I'm reckless. He was just. Roderick, he kept this house together through, through sheer force of will. And my brother was a true lord. They'll sing songs about him someday. But you're the lord here now, like it or not, by the laws of your land. And to these men, you've more than proven yourself. I'll do what I have to. Till every last White Hill is dead. After that, we'll see. Fair enough. My lord, forgive me, but Lud Whitehill will be on the move. Let's move! happen it makes no sense he died a hero gregor was a hero ethan was a hero now roderick it means nothing to me it was his sacrifice that enabled us to escape <laughs> it's not fair talia mother listen to me we don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. My lady, I've seen them in battle twice now. And I've seen Asher lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with. And they'll be more than equal to whatever Lud can muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. What are you talking about? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead. Lady Elena's not wrong. By Ramsay's term... This war's lost the moment the Boltons learn of this. Where I've come from, terms aren't worth the bloody paper they're written on. As far as I'm concerned, this war has just gotten started. Asher will lead us. Asher is our lord. Asher, I wish this were a happier occasion, but... This sword has been held by a Forester Lord for centuries. Now, it is yours. All hail Asher Forester, Lord of Ironrath. Defender of the Ironwood Groves. My father never trained me to be a lord. This was supposed to be Roderick's sword. But I was trained to fight. And by the gods, I will defend my father's house to the last breath. House Forrester will prevail this day! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. Harida Is. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She follows my orders. I'm surprised you haven't killed her yet. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. Whites. Gregor went Fenden Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies. What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. 
That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank you, Garrod. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrod. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. Holy shit. The knife is in there. We should have gotten rid of that ages ago. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean, someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. We can't bring Lady Marjorie into this. What? Why not? A scandal could hurt her right now. Scandal? They're going to cut off our heads! Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, milady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him! Your sister said he was building an army. We can thank Mira, it's not larger. But we'll lose if we go up against that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears.
Ryan! Fuck. Crossbows up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> Are you here to sue for peace, Lord Whitehill? Lay down your arms, and I'll spare your lives. <laughs> That's very funny. I've missed your unique sense of humor. But no. I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men. But it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Oh, this is horse shit. Tell him to fuck off. You put too much stock in Ramsay's terms, Lord. Terms set by a madman. Terms that I never agreed to. You really think Lord Ramsay will ask if you're in favour of his terms before flaying you alive for breaking them? Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood, under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asha, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. A surprisingly honourable gesture, Lord. Of course it was. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. You deserved more days than what you were given, brother. And a better death than this. The world is colder for your passing. Forgive me, I, I just... 
Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asha marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but... No. No, not like this. Even if we accept it, I somehow doubt Lud would keep you alive once Gwyn's produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride! To us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison in his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Lethal and direct. Either plan is a high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. I'll be there, Royland. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But in ambush, there's no way to control. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my stores. No. I came here to wet my sword in Westerosi blood. It's what you promised us. We must make a tactical decision, my lord. Carefully, but quickly. I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe.
Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. You're clever, Mira. Breaking into the imp's chambers and stealing that decree. That was bold. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You... You two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Oh. Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. 
But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and... and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopray Befastan! Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. 
Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgorin! Suna! What? Wait! Fulgorin Vicenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Jailer, please. Shut it! Please come here! <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why well, don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! 
Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want, then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing! Just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. No, no. Come on, you! No! no. Uh, uh, please! Wait, wait! No! Get off! Shut me. your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. <coughs> Enough! <coughs> I've come to talk. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely ruin every forest under his control. Only foresters know how to really work ironwood. That's useful. And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Y your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath. And you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course. And I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, think of your bloodline. Your precious Forester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The 
murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath, and you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry, she's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Sylvie! Ah. 
Carter! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett, please, can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Bison air. We must burn the body. Your fighters are in place. Keep the White Hills calm, and as soon as they're all seated, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asha. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asha. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. We 
which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. Things are different now. I'm different now. But you have nothing to worry about. You are always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace. Once and for all. Your brother is too unpredictable. It just as soon slit my throat as see us wed. And I can't forget that he was the one who killed my brother. That was before. I'll see Griff exiled if that would put your mind at ease. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together, we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. It's them I'm more worried about. They're more likely to do something than I am. I won't let that happen. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord, it's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the men. Consider it done, my lord. I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Huh. Oh, my baby. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Enough slobbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher! Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. Let's get on with this. What's the hurry? We'll be spending the rest of our lives together. As family. You're not my family, Lord. And you'll never be mine! If I wasn't so bloody soft-hearted... Father, please. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get us something to eat! I'm bloody starving! We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. You're damn right it's my bloody hall. But you're too ready to give it over. Cocky one moment, licking my ass the next. Your false smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, Father. Asha's just showing you the respect you deserve. Uh, 
Rather odd that Talia's not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. Calm yourself, Lord Whitehill. There's no reason to get upset. Say what you want. I know what I see. See, that's the trouble with you, Foresters. No manners. At least Roderick had enough decency to carry a proper conversation. I knew- <laughs> No! So different, but you destroyed everything. Goodbye, Asha. To safety, of course. Mother. I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. Good idea. 
Radio Westerosi. Let's give those fuckers a welcome to remember. You've come a long way to die. <laughs> Let's see you live up to your reputation. From ice. My lord, we have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. I can't run. You must survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us. Go! 
You did the right thing. I did what I had to do. She was your friend. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see House Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. Bring forth the next prisoner! This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! She did A disgrace to her family no! name! Spare her! <laughs> oh, traitor! Shame! Take her head! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, Ender! I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! No! Kneel!
house, forest. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? <laughs> A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. But then she had the audacity to go behind my back and meet with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Jabbing out that fourth-born's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The saviour who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend. A former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think... in the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself, but instead, what she did it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They were clever, I'll give them that, but far too sentimental. Ruled by emotion when they should have been smart. Instinctive, instead of shrewd. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost.
We don't have much time. 